Shoreline management planning has been a three-year journey. We owe thanks to Pari Hauraki, our coastal panels, and all the input from the wider community. This year, TCDC has adopted the Coastal Adaptation Pathways. When implemented, these will reduce risks from coastal hazards, such as coastal inundation and coastal erosion. A key output has been the iReport. This outlines the process and provides detailed information on all aspects of the project. This video will briefly introduce the iReport, including how to find the hazard information and proposed responses for your area. You can find the iReport by searching SMP on the TCDC website. Once on the home page, scroll down to the MFE wheel. This is a useful tool to show the different phases of the project. Click on the link for examples of what's happening, what matters most, what we can do about it, and how we get it done. If you don't require detailed information and are more interested to see what coastal adaptation pathways mean for you, your property, or a property that you're interested in purchasing, then go to the Map Viewer to select your region. Through the Map Viewer you can access geographic information on coastal hazards and planning policy information for different areas. For example, at Tupuru we can view the coastal inundation hazard combined with a king tide as well as different risk levels of coastal inundation hazards. There are layers for coastal erosion, as well as landslide hazards. The legend helps interpret each layer. There are over 100 coastal adaptation pathways. These are linked via the map. To view a coastal adaptation pathway for your area, click on the dark blue or light blue lines. These will show you a document link. Click on the link to view the pathways. These documents give information on proposed responses to sea level rise and hazard management. The diagrams show the adopted pathways that are the process for initiating an adaptive response to coastal inundation. Returning to the iReport, we can access more information about the background, about the approach, the process, and most importantly, the next steps in implementation. We're proud of this community for all the important support to develop better planning for our coastal future. Together, let's plan for our future and create resilient coastal communities throughout the peninsula.